<laughs> I thought I didn't know what to think. I feel good. This is the first time I've seen it in the space. I've seen it in rehearsal many times. I'm not entirely sure what went on. It's still happening in my head. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a really, really awesome show. When they first started, like, to do their thing, it was really cool because I think they have, like, a really distinct vibe. They mixed a lot of great things. I eventually kind of, like, got used to the really distinct vibe and then was kind of like, what the hell's going on? I didn't think it would go where it did. Whenever I feel like I... I knew kind of what was going on, it would sort of change and the pace would pick up and, and something different would happen. A couple of years, I felt like, oh, maybe it's like watching Inception. There's so much to pick up on. I think there are not a lot of shows you can see a whole bunch of times and we get more and more and more and more and still be engaged. Really impressed by the writing. I think that it's very clear, it's very like heavily influenced by Pinter. Towards the end, it reminded me of um, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. I think Alex Mills' work is really really like profound and specific. It's a really cool, fun, inspiring new voice. It's very exciting. I felt like a proud mother. I am a proud mother. I feel like the live show dark comedy works better because the crowd actually laughs from the palpable awkwardness as opposed to film dark comedies. I laughed so hard, but sometimes I was so, so scared. I cried a little bit out of fear. But then they would like crack a joke and I would half laugh and then like go back to being really scared. My heart was palpitating pretty much through the whole thing. There's so many times I was just like completely freaked out in the show. I think that was a really good sign of perfection. Alex and Jessica were absolutely fantastic. Actors really can kept kept the flow going. The cast just seems to be on their toes in a way that keeps the audience on their toes. Very good at listening to each other and they were just their timing was fucking awesome. I think I was watching them just as another actor thinking like, I really wish I can, can pull that off. I could see bad actors making the show suck. I think it incorporates a lot of their training, a lot of uh, the background that they have at Atlantic. They did everything really cleanly. There was like a nice, fierce attack to the house. Edgy, uh, progressive. How much of their other work have you seen? Everything. <laughs> oh, how does this fit in among the rest? Um, They've grown which is kind of cute to see. It's a little bit more offbeat than a lot of the stuff I've seen from Pipeline, which is great. And I definitely feel like their shows are maturing um, from what I've seen in the past year. The shows that they do, like they work as a unit and, and everyone really seems to like give the most that they have to their part of the show. So I see them expanding, so. The shows are a lot tighter now. Uh, they're, they're managed a lot better and just overall, much better experience, though it was never bad to begin with, if that makes any sense. I think there were parts that could be tightened up, um, and like the end, I think I wanted like something, I don't know, like a bigger pop of like a realization moment of what was happening. I really like the technical aspects of actually of this production. I like the, uh, the talk drawings, I like how eventually it looked kind of ritualistic, you know. The direction by Tom Costello is amazing. A lot of really specific good set choices that I like very much, the costuming, all of it's just very specific. And I really appreciate that. Any final thoughts? Just keep it up, Pipeline. <laughs> keep it going. Well played, I think. I'll take it from